okay so now we will see in the another approach that is oil adding approach in case of uh, oil adding approach instead of following each and individual molecules like in lagrangian method to describe the flow here in oil adding approach we will locate some fixed observers at different points along the flow it means uh, that uh, in case of lagrangian approach actually say means uh, if there is thousand number of particles uh, then thousand number of observers is required to trace the each and individual particles from you say from you say start to end okay but here means uh, we are not going to trace means you say thousand number of particles uh, suppose this is the suppose this is the cross this is this is the, this is the pipe okay okay and this is the cross section okay clear okay so suppose and the suppose water is flowing along the pipe like this okay this is the outlet and this is the inlet in case of uh, oil adding approach what we are doing we are actually putting we are actually fixing some locations we are fixing some locations and we are putting some observers there okay you say suppose we are fixing three locations and we are putting means uh, you say three observers o1 o2 and o3 this is observer 1 this is observer 2 and this is observer 3 okay at uh, at uh, o1 at this point at uh, this point observer o1 will note down the entire velocity acceleration at o1 point okay and so on at o2 point the ob observer o2 will note down the entire velocity acceleration at o2 point similarly with the o3 and in this case in this way we actually means uh, come to know what is the acceleration and velocity of the fluid particles okay so in this way we are approaching the in this way we are actually studying about the means uh, flow behavior of the fluid particles okay so here i can write what velocity or you say acceleration is what is a function of space coordinates and what you say time okay so if uh, if you want to represent it mathematically the how you will represent it for mathematically means what velocity vector is a function of what this is space coordinate and this is time here and similarly acceleration vector we can represent is a function of this is space coordinate and time okay similarly uh, we have seen as in case of uh, lagrangian that suppose this is y this is g and this is x so x is what x you know in say x vector is a function of x y x x not y not z not t in that case but here when say you say you you say you say u u is a function of what x y z t similarly v is a function of x y z t not of the initial one okay and similarly with w we can write it and same case for acceleration we can write means uh, this is a function of x y z t similarly for a y we can write it is a function of x y z t similarly we can write down the expression for z direction in this way we can find out the velocity and acceleration of the of fluid particles uh, or the behavior of the motion how the behavior of the means fluid particles or you say most of the fluid particles uh, keeps on changing means why it is flowing from one end to another end of the pipe okay so what we have seen here means uh, we have seen here that uh, instead of uh, instead of uh, you say instead of tracing each and individual fluid particle we are locating some fixed point and 
putting observers there and they they and by the means of observer they used to trace what is the motion of the fluid particle what, what is the how the motion or you see behavior of the fluid particles motion keeps on changing okay this we are actually means studying in this in this way we are actually studying the fluid kinematics or you say behavior of fluid particles so this is what this is somewhat you say easy approach to study fluid kinematics okay easy approach to study fluid okay so that's why we means for studying fluid kinematics we will go through eulerian approach instead of going through lagrangian approach okay thank you